All right, what's going on everybody? KB Card Stacks here. I've been selling a lot on eBay, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, all avenues. Been trying to cash out on a lot of my inventory. So I'm gonna show you everything that moved, what it sold for, and uh, what I'm gonna do with all this uh, cash flow now. So uh, first up, this Joe Burrow Prism Black, I traded for it, traded a bunch of stuff that wasn't liquid, got Burrow, Herbert, Hertz, uh, Lawrence, a bunch of stuff. This one unfortunately had a ding, so I had to read, damage, description, all that stuff. This one just sold for $43 though. They sell, I think 43. They usually sell for about 50, so that wasn't too bad there. Um, but unfortunate that it had that ding. Um, next up, somebody came out and cleaned me up for Mason Smith. So kind of bummed that uh, all this sold, but of course, you know, that's why you list it to sell it. And it was the price that I wanted to move at. Not quite yet. I thought, you know, I really wanted to see, I thought there was more growth. I think during the season, I could have jumped up the price a little bit, but um, sold a lot of this. I think this was 25, that was $80, that was 11. This was 30 and this was like 11 or 12. So a huge lot. I don't, I have like two yellows and a lava left. I'm probably just gonna try to reinvest it into something else. I'd still want a piece of Mason Smith, but at the same time, I've made my money on Mason Smith. I still think there's plenty of upside, but I do try to get out of defensive players. I went pretty heavy on defensive players, but I don't know. I really want to uh, still get in on that. I still think there's a lot of upside. So bummed it sold. That's why you list it though. But yeah, someone just came out and cleaned it. So not not can't complain about that. Um, George Pickens, Obsidian, this is number to 175. I think this sold for 55-ish. I was a little hesitant. I had it at 70, I was cheapest. Someone sent an offer. I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna take the money and move it into something else. This was a nice one. Michael Penix, Yellow Auto to 75. Got this on DC Sports Cards at auctions for about, I don't know, 60 bucks. And this one sold for $108. So not bad for unlicensed product there. This one, I think I included it in my Sunday video. They just haven't paid. I was hoping they wouldn't pay. I, they had until like six o'clock today to pay. And of course they paid like an hour, like I guess four hours total before. I didn't realize it was numbered 299 up there, right there. I thought it was just the card number. So I was gonna relist it actually numbered 99, but uh, knowing that they took like three days and, and 20 hours to pay. Bonix, uh, this is a Inception Auto. I had it for 50. Threw an offer out for 45. Someone sent an offer for 40. I went to check comps. There was like a gold that sold for 50. These were kind of going all over the place. So I was happy just moving it. I'm in the money on it. So why not? And then last one from eBay, James Cook, optic variation. And I got this for like eight bucks or so. Had it for 15. Sent an offer for like 13. Someone counted at 12. Decided to take it, keep the money moving. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to cash out on a lot of my inventory. I want to reset my cash balance and then kind of go in with a new approach, get, you know, kind of all into the $20 plus range and just continue to sell offline off eBay. You know, I'll use eBay for a couple of cards that I think will do better. But um, for now, I'm just going to kind of change up my approach here. Uh, so this was a big lot out to my boy Dylan. He's an Alabama fan. So this will uh, be really nice for him. So uh, this was all $100 and again, trying to liquidate some of my lower end Bowman to get into higher end, gold, lava, autos, true gold, things like that. So um, Dallas Turner and Kool-Aid are guys that I have definitely been upgrading. So was happy to get rid of it and it gives him a good price. It's going to be half PC, or I guess mostly PC for him, but if he wants to sell it in the local market, he can't. So uh, Kool-Aid yellow to 75, I traded for that. Dallas, Turner, True Orange. Orange, not super desirable for me, so I'm fine getting rid of that. Some base autos, I picked those up for under 10 bucks a piece. Uh, the Lavas, I picked those up for four or five bucks a piece. Number to 100 though. But again, I just think I'd rather get my money out, you know, put $100 somewhere else in Dallas Turner with more upside. The Lava autos, I just don't know how much room they'll grow, you know. At, you know, at most it's a $20 card, but if I put that into a green auto, you know, that could be a $50, $60 card if I buy it at 20. So that's kind of my thought process there. And then Malachi Moore, a guy that I bought into very heavily. I just thought he'd be like a first rounder. He's kind of dropped in the rankings. Should be decent though. Um, they'll have a, a good secondary. And uh, so yeah, that was, you know, probably eight bucks a card. I'm, I'm maybe making a little bit of money, maybe losing money. But again, I'm going to take that $100 in reinvest it into Kool-Aid or Dallas or just other players get into more high end that I think has more room for growth. I think just over the last few months, as I've been really grinding out cards, I've seen that the autos are really doing, you know, the, the huge multiplier in terms of growth. So something to consider. 
uh, everything else, this sold on Discord. So Javante Williams patch, I got this for about 10 bucks at a show, sold it for $20 uh, bubble mailer with tracking. So not making huge margin, but I think I'm in the money from this show already. So all profit there, nice one to 50. Sold this for $35 shipped, so about 30-ish dollars all in. Um, I bought this patch for $15, and I don't remember where I got this Mechie, but I um, just wanted to move it. Things, I live in the under $30 category in, or channel in Discord. My link is below if you want to join um, for Ryan's Discord. Um, things just move super quickly there, and, and I basically live in the under 30. I do check out the football market, which is anything 30 and above, but really had success with that under 30. Oh, this was also eBay, so this should have gone in the other stack. This was like 13 bucks. Nothing crazy there. Um, this is part of a trade I did on Discord. Calvin Austin, so I saw someone had a Prism Silver uh, Tony Pollard, and he had it for 20, I offered 15. We agreed to 15. He asked me if I had Pickens or Calvin Austin. I had this, said, hey, would you do that in 10 bucks instead of the 15? Absolutely, I was into that for like a dollar, so getting to get that Tony Pollard and you know hopefully that's a $30 card by uh, the season. Although I do worry about Deuce Vaughn stealing carries and, and stealing some of that show, but Cowboys, Tony Pollard, run heavy game, great O-line. I think uh, there's a, a lot of opportunity. Uh, Wandale, red to 99. I don't remember I got this either. $10 plain white envelope. That moved pretty quickly on Discord. Uh, Pepe Williams, this was packaging uh, from somebody. I just threw it up for $3 and someone took it. So, I mean, just stuff moves. People ask it, how does low end work on, on uh, the Discord? It works really well. That channel is super active. That's where I do the most sales. So, um, just trying to liquidate out of a lot of this stuff. Uh, Najee Harris, 15, number to 15, Blue Ice. Dawson Knox got that for a dollar. Got this one for about 10, sold them for $20 plain white envelope. That was on Discord as well. And then a two card Ty Simpson lot, eight bucks. Seems like he's gonna not win the job. Looks like Jalen Milrow. See, I thought it was always gonna be Jalen Milrow and, and uh, over the last few months, I should say, I, I was hopeful it was gonna be Ty Simpson. So I was buying into him. Um, then it seemed like it was Jalen Milrow and like just his experience and, and all of that was gonna play into a, a part. And then, Ty Simpson became the betting favorite for uh, the starting job, and then now it seems like it's back to Milrow. So trying to get rid of some of that Ty Simpson just now while I have the chance, but that's pretty much everything that's sold on eBay, Twitter, a little bit of Twitter, uh, I guess this uh, Alabama stack, and then uh, Discord. So again, if you want to join that Discord, I mean, I sold all this within a matter of minutes. I've been moving stuff I enjoy, you know, just posting cards there, and it seems to move pretty quickly. You know, and there's plenty of good deals on the on the uh, channel as well. So, again, that's everything. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.